So let's get to it and show you how to build a small, easy, modern house in Minecraft. Now I'm going to come and find just a decently flat spot because I don't feel like clearing this out. Now typically when I do this, if I'm doing this in creative, I like to use world edit, but I haven't got it right now. But that's okay. We'll save time by just making sure we build in a more flat spot, okay? Now, let's go ahead and get started. Concrete and quartz are your main building blocks, okay? Now, when you're building a modern house, typically you like to have one or two things happen. You either like to have a small incline that goes up into the house or a small decline that goes into the house this way, okay? I think we'll do a small decline. You can do one, maybe two sets of stairs. I'll just do one, because when it comes to modern house designs, what makes it feel modern, it's not just the design, it's how you use the space. So a country house tends to be more open, while a modern house tends to be more closed down. So you use your small spaces more realistically. And you can do this and just make it look like that, sure. And I guess right here would be the door, right? Except let's make it come back a little bit more, huh? Yeah, that's better. We didn't need to go too far in. Once we get in there, I'll probably be using wool of some kind. I think dark gray is probably the best wool. Just got a nice feel to it. Now for the side railing, I like to use iron bars. For inside railing, I like to use glass. Do not use fence unless it's for structure building. For, you know, just like a rail right here, a guard rail. You don't typically want to do that. So now I'm going to come over here and let's actually have the house come this way. Okay, and then I'm going to come up like this and come over like this and then come down this, go in one and then come down all the way. Because a modern house is not perfectly square. You make your perfectly square and it's going to look funny. And this is where you get the option of using your black concrete and you just outline it like this. And now you can put your glass panes on the inside. I'll come show you what that looks like now. See? Not too bad. Now let's go ahead and just connect these. And sure, I'll come over here and connect it like that. Then you connect that, that one. And we'll put the wool in here. Now what making a modern house. You can also choose how many stories you're going to do. For this house, we're just going to do one. One story, no basement. Let's come over here. We're going to come back just a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and cut across because we're not going to make this super big. And you can actually bring it back over like this too. It's okay. You don't want it to be perfectly square. It just doesn't look right, I'm telling you. One of the biggest mistakes you can do with making modern houses is make everything look square. In fact, sometimes it's good to go like this. And we'll just... Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. See that? If I put that right there, and then I'm going to come back and fill it in like this. See, that's a good little design. It's so simple, but it makes a big difference in the end when you finally finish it up. Okay? You know, it's funny, when it comes to modern houses, in real life, I think I'd hate to live in one. I, I, I don't much care for the design as far as living. I'm more of a country cabin person. That's where I want to live. But when it comes to building and filming modern houses, they're one of the funnest things. They really are. I'm going to fill that in like that. Okay. Not too bad. Now, if you want to, you can outline part of this. But I typically don't do it like that because that's more for like country, uh, what do you call them, window shades. So in this case, I would just use regular white concrete. It's going to look more realistic. Now, when it comes to modern houses, another thing that you need to make sure is you don't put in too many windows. If you just put in one right there, elegant, nice, but do not do too many windows. It does not look realistic. And so this whole wall is going to have pretty much no windows except for like just that one. Do you see that? Now we're going to come over here and let's see. 
right here we're actually going to do stairs. It's up to you what kind of stairs you want to do. Quartz stairs is usually the best. Sorry if it looks like I'm building fast. I'm, I just think it easier for you. You're just trying to learn this. You don't want to watch me take my time building a house, you know. Something that actually is kind of nice is to kind of go like this. And don't keep everything on the same level. See? And then this is where the glass comes in. I always use the darkest one. I really like black. Black is good. And use that for your railings. That gives you a modern design. And then up here you can come and put like your furnace, you know. Or this is how I like to do refrigerators. I think these make nice refrigerators. Oh! That. Come on. Then you can come open your refrigerator door and get your food. See? And then you can do your cauldron. Put some water in it if you like. And you can either use tripwire or leather. Or leper. I usually use lever because, you know, there's quicker and easier, cheaper. But, you know, you can use a trip hook as well. Yeah, that's looking kind of nice. So this comes up over here. It's going to come this way. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Um, we'll keep that one. But the rest of this, especially with that hill back there, we don't want someone looking in on us. And too many windows looks bad. So we're not going to even put windows at all. But I will put some windows here. I'm going to come over here, decide where you want windows. Obviously, we don't want it to be at the black spot. This is kind of like our nice room right here. So this is the one of the places where I'm going to be liberal here and put windows throughout the whole thing. One of the few rooms, okay? Because it actually works. Then you're going to come over here and you're going to decide what you want the top to do. Something that's just simple and easy is you can use Diorite or Quartz. Diorite is cheaper, generally speaking. You don't have to go to the nether for it. So you can go ahead and place that down, okay? Not looking too bad. Now we're going to come over here, and this is where it gets kind of fun. We're going to do some filling in with a concrete, but don't make it all look the same, okay? We're going to come up here. And really, you can just be random. That's one of the fun things about modern house designs, is you can be random and do cool designs. And where it kind of looks interesting coming up like that, I'll go ahead and put some iron bars there, maybe. See? Now we're in the process of greebling. Greebling is just adding little details that have no actual importance, but they just give detail, and it looks better through... The random details okay so we're going to come over here and maybe that's an antenna you can even take stairs just place them right like that all right just giving some interesting unique structural design over here <laughs> we will come over here like this and we'll just fill it in like that but then we're going to put two glass blocks right there to let light in through the roof. Now up here you have a couple of decisions you can make and if you want you can just come over like this. You can do this. This is okay. Kind of looks like you need a way to get up there, right? Well, why not? You can just do a ladder if you're cheap and simple, but also you can just start building a stairway if you want. It's okay. And we'll just go boom, boom, boom. Oh. Actually, I think we'll just go like this. Because it's on the outside, we're going to do iron railings. And to make this flush. Sure. <laughs> and maybe we'll just go like this as we have space to get in here. Because you can do that. And you can come to the roof. You can even have lawn looking chairs. 
See? Whatever you want. You can put a fence right there. Ooh, that'll be nice to come sit right there. Ooh, that'll be nice and cozy. Now we're going to take a path. Now we gotta decide what we want here. We're gonna be greebling the outside. We're just gonna go like that, because we can. And if you want, you can even do slabs on the outside. I think smooth stone looks the best. Put it around it like that. And over here, we can do a flower garden with azalea leaves. Eh, let's do it one further. And this time we'll use trap doors. garden. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, put a couple of stone buttons around. Maybe I'll use hmm, darker fences look better. Because one of the keys to modern house design is contrast. That's why you see black and white, right? It looks good for the modern design. So choose colors and you put them close to each other with high contrast. And then maybe over here. This is actually where I'll put the gate, right? Contrast, remember. So we did that. And then we're just going to come over here. And then the yard beyond the fence post and down there, that's of course up to you. We're not going to go that far. Oh, we should put our glass panes here too. Okay. Lighting. I tend to like glowstone best for lighting. And I like to put it under gr the carpet like this, or the wool. And that way, when it's dark, you still got nice light, right? But it's kind of hidden. That's the way I like to light things up. Not too bad. Then we can do some chairs. I like simple chairs where you just curve them. You can use signs on the outside too, but that, that's pretty simple. It gives a, a big arm to the chair to make it feel more like a couch. That's why I like that. Put in a crafting table. You can put in some slabs right there if you wanted. You can have shelving if you want. We're not going to go too elaborate on the interior, but you know it's it's up to you. Put those things where you want them. It just makes them generally quite nice. Not too bad. Maybe we need a little bit of water of some kind. Whoops. Just kind of a little bit random there. Actually, I like to do bone, you know, sometimes for the grass than the lawn of a country house. But for a modern house, it actually doesn't look good, so I'm not going to use bone meal to grow grass. You can, however, be specific in your flowers. Whoop. Here. Like that. Alright. Pretty simple. I'm gonna come back and look at this. Looking pretty good, but I think it needs a little more detail on the center because it just isn't quite right. And you can just sit here and mess around with block designs and see how they look. Oh, I'm glitching. I'm glitching. It's like a creepy pasta that's about to attack me. I always get a creepy pasta attacking me when I start glitching. Well, that's pretty close. Me, I gotta end right there. But uh, that right there is just a simple modern house design.